you see people talking in front of the village council, in front of large gatherings, with the bear. These are leaders of the Samoan community. Hey! The image of someone wearing a bear, you know, that's the pinnacle of the Samoan man. That's a man who serves his family and the community. I always knew one day I would get it. And then 2022 just happened to be the year. I've always appreciated tattoos as an art form growing up, but the Samoan Pe'o, I know I spoke a little bit differently because that's the culture, that's the heritage, that's what you grew up in. You know, growing up, I always thought it'd be really nice if I was blessed one day to receive the Pe'o. And I always knew it was more than just a tattoo, more than just something that you wear and more than just something that's pretty to look at. Because the Samoan Pe'o stands for something. You know, it represents Tautua, the Samoan concept of service. Service to your family, to your village, to your church, to your community. Um, yeah, so it was, it was really important for me to make that decision, make that step in getting it. Yeah, I I <laughs> Why <laughs> so the offering of your life for ile is trivial oh le matai even lo nu umale tu malo man tu fo i ya male tu nu so na fo no ta uol men na ona le pe bo telewa nga il fa sa bo ina ia fa ta uwa ti dia tu le tau tu mai fa in wa ave ye su fa matai mal telephone wo ai no a o le pe fo ni wo tau tau mi ai le tau tu o le fa to mulai i watched countless documentaries i've read heaps of books i've read research papers on the thing and you know i know it's not easy it's a paid for undertaking and growing up my pain tolerance was really low and so i never knew i never knew how i was going to be able to react to the to receiving the bill. 
e yai le tautonga e fai e ile a ole i fua fua le tau le ale asa mo e tala le tatau e ola mo sa mo e tau tua mo sa mo e oti mo sa mo i le faati nonga o na fai vaolo filima mo na nafa e pui pui ai lo na matai malo na au ai a e mesio le kale si malo e tulu lo fa le kua sa malo e fua le aso aka e au la i fua ilo malo si o kingo lo ma fa fau lo kokeli a mo mo le kua wa le aso aka e au the first day was weird because I was quite nervous, I was quite anxious because one, I didn't know how my body was going to react to the pain. But the morning of it, I, I don't know, I just felt calm, I felt cool, I felt collected. I knew that this was something that I had long dreamed about and so now that the time was here, there was nothing else to do but just go ahead and do it. And, all, and also leading up to it, a lot of people ask me, Oh, Enric, are you ready? You know, I, I, are you sure you're ready? And my answer to all of those questions were, man, I don't know. I don't know, because you, you can never know until you hit that first tap. And then when that first tap hit, I was like, Oh, I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm ready, but then you're already there. You know, you, once once that tap, once the first tap of the owl hits your skin, there's no turning back, and you have to see it through. And so, you try to figure out a way to deal with the pain. You try to figure out a way to embrace the pain because if you go against the pain, and this was what the Tufunga was telling me uh, during, he could see me like squirming and trying to move away, and he told me to just relax, let the pain because you can't run from it; it's there. So just embrace the pain in any way that you can. And so that was what I had to learn to do. Just find a way to push through it. If I had to know the tower of Yufi, you know, if I had to know the tower of Yufi, or if I had to know the tower of Yufi, Ia na fai vaalo filima, mo le ofia tu le saofa i ngā matai, i ia te ia le la e le atu nu e faati noi. So, there's the fufu, there's a shower after every session. There's making sure that you sleep correctly, that what you're sleeping on is correct, the way you apply your um, antiseptic ointment after each session is correct. So it was very much more a mental game than it was physical. You were making sure that your mental fortitude was strong, you know, going to the next session because the hardest part, I reckon the hardest part of the whole journey for me was the drive to each session because the entire, from the moment you hop in the car, you're on the road to go get the next session over with. You're thinking, man, I can't wait for this to be over, man. Why did I get myself into this in the first place? Um, so you had to make sure that you have the right support with you. And that's why it was really important for me that my family was there. My grandma, uh, my parents, my siblings, and my closest friends too. It was really important for me to, for them to be there. Um, because if it was just me, I don't think this documentary would have been made. You know, two weeks, when you're in the two weeks, you're draining it. It's tough, you can't sleep right, you can barely eat. Um, you drink way more water than you feel like you should. You take way more showers than you feel like you should. <clears throat> Having to shower two, every two hours. Um, that was, you know, another tough part. Waking up in the middle of the night, cold shower. First thing in the morning, cold shower. After breakfast, cold shower. Before lunch, cold shower. Ooh. And then when you're lying there, it's just you, it's just, just you, the Tufunga, his team, and the Ao, you know. They tell you to clear your mind, 
and clear whatever problems that you have. Because when you lie down and it's just you and the owl, it's literally just you and the owl. That's all you think about. It's just the pain. Nothing else matters. Nothing else is relevant. Which is also, I think, very metaphoric. Because when you're serving your family, your family is what matters most. And so the better being the physical manifestation or the physical representation of service, I think, is very fitting now. that I Now that I wear it, yeah, uh, there's no other thing. So most of the journey was just that. Um, just prepping for each session, going through the session, and then the for four after each session. And then... It's weird, it's weird. It, it seems, the journey seems endless, but then looking back on it, it seemed like it happened and it was over within a flash. Almost as fast as it started, it finished. Um, when that last tap, when that last tap hit my stomach, it felt surreal. It felt like, it felt like I was just waking up from a dream. You know, I sat up and I thought it was okay. I thought it was okay. You know, I, I said thank you to the Tufunga. I said thank you to the team. But then as I stood up, oh uh, no, it was just... Overwhelmed with emotions that I still to this day cannot describe. Um, I guess you could say it was happiness, it was relief. Um, it was joy. But it was also kind of sad. Yeah, nah, I still can't. Still can't find the words to describe, describe that moment. But I just broke down in tears. I, I just, mm, it was tough. And so being able to greet my family, my, my grandma, my parents, my siblings, my whole family, my closest friends, being able to greet them after the process, you know, as someone who now wears the Slae or Samoa, it was refreshing. It was. It was. It was. An, it was a, out of this. It was like a, out of this world experience. I don't. I still don't know how to describe it. But it was a moment that I don't think I'll ever forget. Stay with me forever for life. Um, and just feeling their love, feeling their support. Now that I wear this better, now that I go about serving my family. I hope to reciprocate every ounce of love that I received in that moment. So, yeah, it was really important for me to do. I'm <laughs> 
I don't know how to describe this feeling. I, I'm just finished. I, I'm done. Ole, 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 tu langa fo ilele wa tu la in my name. Ona ua wa my great of tatu tangata. Ah, wo tatu tangata ifafu. Wa fainga taa na toyo, mai tangata ya overseas born. Ah, la toye, wa fainga taa, lien fan na ifafu. Wa fainga taa na toyo, mai. Paulo se awa la in fayo na ta wa tu wai ile la lorangi a tu long a pride e ve ai o yam samo a ol fayo lo na fayo la na fayo la na la e le o la na ta tau male mal le wa ta tu ti ti le i wa faye e tangata na o na o se fainga fo ile le ta mo fai e ta u to ila to lo lo or samo le or samo le a ole a nganga mita mita male lo to la ye ye fi ba ai ma fi ti le ti lo ile fa ti no ngo ta tu samo mo le ma fayo na tu ba ai Walaupun fayon tu yang ailang aile oh mayen orang foto nu le reality orang melayan aje, lola tu fasi nombang. Olai pay for ing orang mayna orang mau orang mau. Aye walaupun fayon orang fayon aite nu ye tel le fayon aite nu orang tau tua samua. Aye sih, ele orang fayon orang fayon aite nu ye tu nu ulo orang mau. Their view is a view from afar. Walau nak nak tilo tilo mai ifas. Ah, extrinsic view orang melayan aje. Aye le orang tu tau nu le lot orang liu. Mai le orang tu tau nu le lot orang tu orang melayan aje. Lai tak tahu yang orang tu lot tu dia mau mau ya? Pei lah, eh lah, lah tak uam ni ya. Nai yalom fa, nai lah ya, nai lah. Ifa fok tahu lah tu. Ayo orang ini masih si omalam malam ini nak si esok tahu. Ah, orang ele orang fai orang non nafoi tahu non samu. Eti lo ti lo ini reality orang mele tu. So nai orang lah eh orang tu tahu, eh tahu fok ini, eh tahu tu itu ngah tahu iya non samu mon. Ayo nua masuk non malam malam ini bayang si esok. Pei nak tahu mon. Do you feel like that is appropriate? Yeah. It's also without understanding. 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 Ya, awal leh waktu way itu atau way ngaji sam. Awal leh waktu way fasad, way hola, ingat waktu way itu leh fasad itu. Ah, awat atau fana, awiya na feel life. The way we serve isn't the same as our forefathers did, as our ancestors did. You know, they didn't work office jobs and they didn't have to send money to family overseas. Um, but it's service nonetheless, you know. Um, it's not so much about making the umu anymore, but it's making sure that your family is being taken care of. I think however you define what tautua, what service looks like, at its core, it's making sure that your family is taken care of. And so we do that differently in this day and age. You know, someone's living overseas. There's not, uh, they, there's not much that they can do apart from sending money here to Samoa, apart from, you know, checking in that their family's okay. But as long as they're actively making sure that their family's okay, that's tautua, that's, that's service. Because service is putting others before you. And tautua, it's putting your family before you, putting your family first and foremost. And so, but however that looks like, who's to say that your service is wrong? My personal view, so I'm more on the move. You see, it, 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 now if I'm going to do it for you too, meaning you're not going to do it. And then I'm going to do it for you too. I'm going to do it for you too. So I'm more on the move. I'm going to do it for you too. I'm going to do it for you too. Western education, Western law. I'm going to do it for you too. I'm going to do it for you too. I'm going to do it for you too. 
So I think it matters not what someone does as service, but the results that come from the service. You know, service can look like different things. Services, doing a nine to five. Service can be working on your family plantation. Service can just be looking after your kids at home. But if it's making a difference, or no till Jordan, being inked in service, in service of your family, in service of your parents, your siblings, your close, your close ones, your loved ones, that's what Toto is. And so what does Toto look like for me? Uh, it looks like I'm making dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 